I'm so glad that you joined me for this Healthy Hangout, part four. And this is the endocrine system. Women, we're talking about the healthy hormones. So this is going to be so much information. You are going to be so glad that you watched this video. It may be a little bit lengthy, but at the same time, it's so important for we, as the, most of us ladies are the gatekeepers of our home. So what goes on in our home, it's up to us. You know, meal planning and cooking and cleaning and getting kids where they're supposed to go. It's our part. And so we, a lot of times as ladies, don't put our health first. We put things prior to, you know, we, we put, oh, well, they need to do this or I need to get this for my kids and I'll put myself last, things like that. Um, even today, I missed my workout because um, I had to stop and go run and do something else at the time that I was going to go to my workout. And, um, and so I missed that window. And <clears throat> so what do I have to do? Then I'm going to have to do something at home to get my workout in for the day. So with that, um, we have to take care of ourselves. If we don't take care of our body, how can we serve others? So the function of the endocrine system, along with hormone production and regulatory tasks, are nearly every component in the human body. Compromise the, they compromise the final area in this study. So in reality, it may be the most important of all of the other bodily functions is the endocrine system. There are numerous functions to the endocrine system, but many systems and organs with which it's connected. So it connects everything to where it's all going to work um, properly. This collaboration helps maintain and control the body's energy levels, reproduction, growth, development, internal balance of body systems or homeostasis, and responses to surroundings and stress and injury. So that fight or flight that you're talking about, okay? Um, so with that, a lot of times, um, yes, it does so, so much. The endocrine system does so much, and it's an amazing system that um, a lot of times we don't really give it a lot of credit because um, you hear people are, you know, uh, with fatigue, um, they're always tired, I can't sleep. Well, if you can't sleep and you're not getting a good night's sleep, then you can't pour into the next day a good um, full day that you need to. So let's dig more into it. So because it affects every body system through its chemical messengers, hormones, the endocrine system is very intricate. However, it's also very delicate and can easily become imbalanced due to toxins, nutrient deficiencies, poor eating habits, physical or emotional stress, or even lack of sleep. So too much or too little of any hormone can be harmful for the body. For example, the pituitary gland produces too much growth hormone. A teen may grow excessively tall. If it produces too little, they may be unusually short. So when it balances, the endocrine system helps to create a solid foundation of optimal health. The way a person thinks and feels along with his or her attitude and habits are determined by the factors of the endocrine system and your overall health. Emotions or anxiety, stress, worry, and fear can lead to chronic digestive complaints or poor nutrition. Feelings of hopelessness, despair, laziness can all be sluggish and then it, it can be due to a sluggish digestive system. Now you've already listened to the digestive system and you realize how much that if your stomach and your digestive system is not working properly, then how much is that going to affect the rest of your outcome? Not good, okay? So that's one thing that you need to watch too on that digestive one. So, when we fret or fuss or stew or simmer or worry, lie, or we're fearful, maybe we hold negative emotions too long or choose not to forgive, we must stop, take a moment to think about how much it's going to impact our health. 
Although the food that we eat and the chemicals we're exposed to are very important factors, many of the conditions we face may have roots in emotional and spiritual strongholds. So a lot of times when we realize, hey, there's something wrong with me, a lot of times it's that imbalance of our hormones. It's that imbalance of our whole endocrine system, okay? And I can't wait to share with you my stories because I, myself, um, I am 41, I think. I'm, yeah, I might be 42. I think I'm 41. <laughs> Isn't that bad? Anyway, I struggled with infertility throughout my 20s. And I um, finally was able to conceive a child at the age of 28 and 30, back to back after six years of infertility and fertility treatments, but also um, once we, and if you know, I have three boys, right? So there's two back to back and then there's six years later, I had another one who we call him our bonus baby. And so after being married for 15 years, my whole body all of a sudden came full circle. My body was completely healed and whole and that's when bonus baby came along. Okay. So that's the cool thing about it because I, that infertility and all of that stuff that I had was baggage that I didn't know from my past and mistakes that I made as a teenager and things like that. And I carried it all the way into my marriage throughout my adult life. And it wasn't until, um, 15 years of marriage that I finally uh, dealt with all those emotions. So a lot of times it can be years and years and years that you deal with emotions or you're dealing with something and it really affects so much more um, than we even realize. You know, we think, oh, I had a bad dream about that. No, it's really affecting the cells in your body. So what are the main parts of the endocrine system? Let's dig into that. Any, the endocrine system includes the body's hormones and glands and it's the master manipulator in the body. The glands include the hypothalamus, the pituitary, the penile, the thyroid, the parathyroid, the adrenals, the ovaries, and the testes. So tonight we're gonna to talk about the ovaries because that's ladies, and we're gonna talk about ladies' hormones. So while the endocrine system uh, glands are in the main hormone producers, there are several organs in the body that also produce and release hormones such as your pancreas, your liver, and your kidneys, which make them glands as well. So while the endocrine system regulates most slow processes of the body, it works with the brain and the nervous system to help with a faster process during certain situations, such as getting a rush of adrenaline and when being startled by something under stress. The gland called the hypothalamus located in the brain, helps to link the two systems together. The urinary tract includes the kidneys, bladder, urethra, the, um, ur and the ureters. Um, although they filter and eliminate waste from the body, once the kidneys have filtered waste from the blood, such as nitrogen, waste products, excess sodium, um, uric acid, and excess water, it combines this waste into a liquid called urine, which travels through the ureter and it accumulates in the bladder and can be eliminated from the body through the urethra. So how does the endocrine system work? Once an endocrine gland or organ secretes a hormone, the hormone travels from the gland through the bloodstream to the target cells that were designed to receive it as a message. As it travels to the target cells, special proteins bind to some of the hormones and act as carriers that control the amount of hormone available for the cells to use. The target cells and the hormones each have receptor sites. To specific target cells will receive and communicate with only the correct hormones. When the hormone reaches its target cell, it locks into the cell's receptor site and those hormone receptor combinations, they transmit chemical instructions to the inner workings of the cell. Isn't that cool? Isn't God amazing how he created our body? I mean, hello. 
When hormone levels reach a specific normal amount, the endocrine system helps the body keep that level of hormone in the blood. For example, once the thyroid gland has secreted the amount, the right amount of thyroid hormones in the blood, the pituitary gland makes sure that the levels remain normal. If it senses the low level, the pituitary gland adjusts its release of thyropine, the hormone that stimulates the thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormones. <clears throat> so nutrients for the endocrine system, look for whole foods, whole food su supplements that are rich in vitamins and minerals. Do you wanna know which vitamins and minerals are best for the endocrine system? Let's find out, beta carotene. Beta carotene is a precursor to vitamin A. It's found only in yellow and orange fruits, orange vegetables, and green leafy vegetables, and it's beneficial to the thyroid. The mineral boron may improve function of the thyroid and parathyroid glands. Calcium is needed for your adrenals. Choline uh, may be essential for the normal function of the liver and may help prevent dietary fats from accu accumulating in the liver. Fatty degenerative uh, of the liver, fatty, um, fatty livers and stuff, caused by um, lead, is, that's the leading cause of liver transplants. Did you know that, a fatty liver? Do you know most um, Americans have fatty livers? I, I, had a, um, I was having pain, which was actually ovarian cyst, but um, the doctor wanted to check my liver out too. And he did a scan on me. He said, you have a very fatty liver. And I was like, oh my gosh, my liver's fatty. Oh my gosh, what does that even mean? I had no clue. And so this is before my, um, um, my two other boys and my two boys were born. So I was probably maybe 26 or so. And so anyway, um, 25, 26. Um, so I said, what is that? Is that, am I going to die from a fatty liver? He said, oh no, most all Americans have it. I said, what's it from? He said, poor diet. I said, really? So I immediately at that age of 25, 26 realized your, my diet has already done damage to my body from my poor diet, okay? So um, this may occur, um, symptoms such as a choline deficiency, a lot of times is um, a fatty liver as well. Choline and vitamin A concentrate um, in the adrenal glands and also may improve their function. Choline deficiency may cause kidney dysfunction. Chromium. Chromium is an important mineral to help regulate blood sugar and adrenals. Chromium is needed for diabetics, okay? Your blood sugar, chromium. Folate, folate may enhance the function of the liver by inhibiting the ability of uh, homocysteine da to damage the liver. Incetol may facilitate the removal of the fat from the liver. Iodine may also approve, improve thyroid function. Nearly 20% of the body's iodine is used in the thyroid gland. Now that's one big thing. A lot of people have switched over to sea salt and mineral salts and things like that. And they, they say, well, I had someone to tell me, she said, you need to take iodine salt. And I said, here's the thing, do research. So when you see this iodine, do research on that iodine salt and see what's in that, okay? And see if that's the right iodine. It's not, okay? So lipic acid, uh, it may protect the liver from the toxic effects of many pharmaceutical drugs and toxins. Lipic acid also may prevent um, kidney damage, a common side effect of diabetes known as diabetic neuropathy. Lycopene, it concentrates in and is necessary to uh, give nourishment to the thyroid. Magnesium is required for a healthy function of the adrenal glands. Vitamin A is required for optimal function of the thyroid as it contains higher concentrations of vitamin A than any other gland. Thyroid malfunction may occur because of vitamin A deficiency and B2 deficiency. Liver malfunction may reduce the body's absorption of vitamin A. Therefore, supplementation with whole food vitamin A may improve the function of the liver. 
vitamin B1 concentrates in the kidneys as well. Um, vitamin B3 may inhibit the ability uh, of alcohol to damage the liver. And um, let's see, the pantothenic acid, also known as vitamin B5, is needed by the adrenals and the liver. Physical and mental stress of the presence of mer mercury increase adrenal activity and deplete vitamin B5 and C from the glands. Vitamin B5 has been observed to activate the adrenal glands and may revive exhausted adrenal glands by vitamin B5 deficiency may lead to the destruction of the adrenals. Ailments of the liver may increase the body's vitamin B6 requirement and underfunctioning of the liver may result in a vitamin B6 deficiency. Biotin, also known as vitamin B7, is a B-complex vitamin and may improve the function of the liver kidneys. Vitamin C may prevent oxidation to the damaged, the damage caused by free radicals in the liver caused by tobacco, smoking, or alcohol. Vitamin C helps to boost the immune system to aid in fighting off the infection and is necessary for the adrenals. The adrenals are one of the largest tissues stores in the vitamin C. If vitamin C stores are low, then adrenals will put the vitamin C from other locations in the body, leading to inadequate immune function. And zinc. Zinc may be required for healthy function of the adrenal glands and improve the thyroid function. Um, that's why people get B shots when they're worn out and have no energy. Yes, you're right. That's why so many people are like, I just can't do it, I don't have any energy. Get a vitamin B shot, that's what they tell you. Oh, but wait, I have something better. So let's talk about food. So good foods for the endocrine system, <clears throat> whole grains, legumes, nuts, and all vegetables, celery, uh, moderate use of sea salt, hard flesh fruits, apples, pears, citrus fruits, not just the juices, um, eat the fruit. Fish, eggs, chicken, flax, chai seeds, sesame seeds, and sunflower seeds. So my neighbor, um, we visited them the other day and she made an amazing pudding. And I said, what is, well, first we were talking all, all healthy and I was like, mm, we just two peas in a pod. But she took chai seeds, chia, some people call them, she calls them chia, C-H-I-A, chai seeds, and soak them overnight in some almond milk. Now, I would prefer the unsweetened, but you could get the chocolate or the vanilla or whatever. Soaked them overnight, and it made a thick pudding. And then she added a little dollop of Greek yogurt and a little bit of honey and stirred it up. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. Sprinkle some granola on the top great healthy little snack i even brought it back like I, I mean she made me a massive bowl and so i brought it back and i was like guys try this this is so good and uh yeah so i need to post the recipe i need to tweak it too because i tried it again and i didn't put enough um chai seeds in there um so that's i mean you kind of just get creative pinterest has amazing recipes for some really great healthy stuff so bad foods for the endocrine system. So this is where, remember I damaged my liver, the fatty liver, refined sugars and soda, mm -hmm. caffeine, chocolate, bananas, dried fruits. They contain way too much sugar for diabetics. Dried fruits, a lot of times, you know, we think, oh, giving my son a box of raisins um, is so healthy. Mm -mm. It is loaded with sugar. Check out the carbs and the um, total sugars on that package. You'll be amazed. Um, and then alcohol and fried foods. Those all do a lot of damage to our endocrine system. Remember, excessive heat during cooking destroys many of the vitamins in our food. So bes bet besides retaining important enzymes, fresh raw vegetables and fruits are some of the highest in vitamins. Therefore, it's important to include a variety of large quantity of fresh and vegetable, fresh 
fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds in the daily diet. I just made for supper a chicken salad for my kids. And um, I hope that there's some left whenever I get done with this soon. And so, but I chopped up celery, carrots, and green onions. And when I did that, um, whenever I did that, I, it, my, one of my boys said, is there celery in here? And, um, and I, that's kind of how I just kind of sneak food in, you know, with stuff like that. And I said, yeah, I said, yeah, there is. He goes, I've eaten half of this and I just now tasted some celery. And I said, well, what'd you think of it? And he goes, I like it in this, but I don't like it by itself. You know, so it's like, he know, he knew that taste. And, um, but at the same time, I had a ton of stuff in there that, you know, that he, um, and he likes green onions. And so, but still, it was just funny how different things, um, they all like carrots, no matter how you cook them, they all like carrots. And so it was just funny how different, um, different things will, uh, you know, our taste buds, they're, they're used to that, they have a memory. And so um, my, my pickier eater, he, um, he tends to kind of like, smell it and look at it and mm, let's see let's touch it you know let's kind of go from there um and so it's funny how uh, our body a lot of times when we when we taste something that we don't like our body usually needs it and so remember that so emotions and the body let's talk about that okay have you ever been nervous taking a test public speaking or maybe meeting someone new only to experiments experience butterflies in the stomach so that's really a real thing that's not like um uh oh you know oh she just has a nervous stomach i remember someone used to say that they were like oh she just has a, ner a nervous stomach and um but really it's like that's that is it's all combined um have you ever suffered the loss of someone close to you and your heart actually ached yes have you ever heard of mar couples that were married for, I mean, 50, 60 years, and the spouse dies, and then the other spouse dies right back to back. Um, my husband's grandparents did that, five weeks apart, um, they passed away. And um, it was just like, they die of a broken heart. Um, has your blood pressure ele elevated only while visiting the doctor? Hmm. And my husband did that. He said it was from waiting in the waiting room for so long. And he was just going for a physical. Have you ever watched a scary movie or nearly been in a car accident and all of a sudden your heart like jumps in your throat, you know, like that adrenaline? Have you ever felt that? All right. So the brain senses all of these situations in the body and that's how the body responds. So medical research shows that there is a connection between emotions and physical response, health, and even disease. The most destructive of all emotions, anger, fear, and grief. The body's immune system can be adversely affected by the thoughts through two pathways, the central nervous system and the limbic system. The limbic system also includes the hypothalamus, which connects the nervous system to the endocrine system. It also includes the hippocampus and an ameliorate. The endocrine system and its array of hormones are managed in the limbic system, which also controls emotions. As the limbic system is directly connected to the parts of the brain that control the heart rate, breathing, blood pressure, stress, memory, and hormone levels, the wrong hormones produce certain negative thoughts or emotions can suppress the immune system, setting up the body for disease and illnesses in your health. The thalamus makes the decisions for our emotional minds, and it can be linked to the hard drive of the brain. The hard drive of your brain, that is all the different decisions. Everything that's ever happened to a person is recorded in the thalamus, whether consciously remembered or not. It determines whether a person is safe or not safe, and if an event occurs that resembles the first time that something traumatic happened in the past, the thalamus reacts. After a few times of reacting in the same way, it becomes an automatic response, not even thought about. The body turns to autopilot and the reactions 
are made to triggers and not even a reality. For example, if a person has been told they're allergic to cats, he can walk into a home, see a cat, and immediately experience swollen throat, shortness of breath. In reality, the physical body has not even had time to react to the allergic reaction of the cat, but the thalamus has, and the response is the same. During traumatic events, the thalamus collects sensory information and sends messages to the hippocampus. This is part of the brain that the system seems to paralyze such a person during an event. The person can't seem to run, make decisions, fight back, or even think of what to say. Emotionally, a per person can get stuck at the age of the earliest wound. The hippocampus then sends quick high voltage signals to the amelia gilda. And the amelia gilda is a very important for, store, for storing and releasing trauma memories. The amelia gilda sends off adren adrenaline for the fight or flight response by signaling the hypothalamus, which then stimulates the sympathetic nervous system responsible for the actual physical fight or flight response. And if the traumatic event is not dealt with in a positive way, the person can revert back to the habits of the negative response or freeze or retreat. The hypothalamus is the facilitator and the originator of all expressions of fear, including fast heart rate, sweat, pain, anxiety, stress, body temperature, tension, panic, phobias, rage, anger, and aggression. It is the brain of the endocrine system sending out various types of chemical messengers or hormones to the endocrine system. It's the negative hormones, such as these stress hormones, cortisol, released during traumatic events that have negative emotions that end up causing disease related to those emotions. When a negative emotion is continually played out and the hormones continue to flow, disease can result. So that's so important. When you have situations to happen in your life, to deal with them, to not hold them in because it can be so damaging to your body. Emotional frequency. Every living thing, such as plants, animals, humans, all have a frequency. We all have a frequency and um, it's all different megahertz, okay? This includes the thoughts and expressions of those thoughts or emotions that can raise or lower a body's frequency. The changes caused by emotions can even be seen in a dark field microscopic analysis of the blood. High frequency level is life to the body. Low frequency level brings disease and eventually death. Feelings should not be confused with emotions. So feelings are our sensory data, I see, I feel, I hear, whereas our emotions are the result of what we believe about the sensory data. So with that, with all these different frequencies, something I want you to know too is frequencies can be raised and lowered by just being around people. Have you ever like been in a store and you see someone and you're like, oh, I'm gonna turn my shopping cart and go the other direction, you know? Or someone walks in the room and you're just like, like, like my favorite phrase is, they drained me faster than a bathtub, okay? So some people are just, just when they walk in, you're just like, oh gosh, you know, it's just so draining. That's lowering your frequency. Now, have you ever been out with your friends and you laugh until you cry? And, or, you know, with family and you're laughing and you're having a great time and you just feel great and life is great, your frequency is raised. It's higher. So that's raising your frequency. So how can we um, raise and lower our frequency um, naturally? Eating fresh fruits and vegetables is going to raise your frequency. If you eat processed food, that is a zero frequency. It is not going to, it's going to actually it actually has, it didn't have zero. It's got lower, it's low, low in the frequency. It's, it's all that stuff in a box is going to lower your frequency, okay? It's not living. Fresh fruits and vegetables, they were living once, so that's going to give you life. Um, also, um, getting negative people out of your life. That is a huge difference. I had to um, distance myself from a friend 
because of her fear. And I saw that her fear was affecting her children. And then it was affecting me. And then I was following suit with that because I was around her so much. So I had to distance myself because I thought, I'm not a fearful person, but she was causing me to be more fearful. So um, sometimes you have to distance people from, you know, um, you're like, now if they're family and stuff, just, you know, see them less often. Because the family, of course, we can't, you know, cut people out of our lives. And so, um, so anyway, but, um, or even talk to them about that, you know. So those are two great things um, to know about your frequency. Some, something else, essential oils, these bottles of oil, they were living plants at one time. Putting them on your body will raise your frequency, okay? So depending upon the situation, we have names for all kinds of really fun oils. Stress away, hello. So what do you think that's for? Put it on your body in stressful situations. What do you think it's gonna do? It's going to help you tremendously, okay? So let's dig into a few other oils and supplements that are gonna help. Endoflex, Endoflex and Endoflex Vitality. Um, I just used this one um, moments ago because I had a five-year-old that had to come inside because it was going to storm and mom had to work. And so I said, we've got to come inside. We've got to eat supper, got to get ready and had a meltdown. And so I got the Indoflex out and I was like shaking it on his arm <laughs> and rubbed it together. And I said, listen, you're going to be okay. You can play outside another day. I'm sorry that you had to get off your bike and park your bike, but you're going to be okay. All right, we have to, we have to obey. And so um, Endoflex is great for any one that has an endocrine system, which is all of us, right? So it's a blend of spearmint, geranium, and other pure essential oils that help create calming, balancing aroma when diffused. Um, it's, Endoflex Vitality is an oil base of sesame oil and adds a proprietary blend of oils for wellness support. So drink that Vitality and it's amazing, okay? So um, it has got um, Endoflex. Okay, In the, the next one is, let me see <clears throat> what this is real quick. Endoflex Vitality. We're taken in a gel cap and um, taking it with a little bit of E6 too, taking that daily is going to help um, a whole lot with your endocrine system. Um, also, drinking Ningxia Red. Drinking Ningxia Red is going to help your body. You're gonna notice a pattern on this healthy hangout. I'm gonna tell you to drink Ningxia Red over time. Once you start drinking it, you're gonna see a huge difference. Um, Ningxia Zing. And the reason, I, I don't have everything here tonight. Um, and so, but I love Ming Shazing. It comes in a can. It's a little carbonated drink. It's got black pepper in it. Black pepper is great for your adrenals. And so that is one that I, um, I love. It's a treat for me. A Zing is a huge treat, okay? So now let's talk about some, um, some a supplement, Thyramin. Thyramin is a supplement that it actually is very helpful for um, your thyroid, but also it helps to balance the endocrine system. So thyramin is a specially balanced formula that promotes healthy endocrine function. Take two capsules immediately before bed to support a healthy thyroid function and two capsules in the morning. Does this work? Yes, my husband, um, was very sluggish and, and didn't have the energy that he needed and everything. And so I even told him, I said, you know, maybe we should try some thyroid. I mean, some th uh, thyramin. So he tried it and he instantly could tell a huge difference. And so a lot of people go, well, how long do I take it? Or how do I know? Um, I said, just take it till the bottle's gone. So he took two at night, two in the morning. And then when he felt that sluggish again, then he got another bottle, took it again. Power Dries is another great supplement. Um, Power Dries is um, great for men. That came out really big for men because it's loaded with Idaho Blue Spruce and Goldenrod, which are great for men. However, it is also 
great for women. So let me tell you a little bit about. So inspire your inner athlete with Power Drives. This supplement infused with blue spruce, goldenrod, and cassia is a special formulation to help individuals of all ages boost stamina and performance. With botanicals from all around the world, Power Drives helps sustain healthy energy levels, strength, mental and physical vibrancy, and vitality when used in addition to physical activity. Power Drives is formulated with KSM66, a premium ashwagandha root extract, which is toted for its properties that support the immunity, mental clarity, concentration, and alertness. Its custom formula helps support the male reproductive system. Now, is it good for women too? Yes, especially those ladies who are in their midlife. It actually helps those ladies um, feel better about themselves. So midlife ladies, that's one that's going to help. Um, I have been told that it helps. It has seemed to help. I've heard a few stories that a few people said it seemed to help a little bit with their libido. So if that's something that's low for you, try Power Drives. Endogize is especially for me. Endogize is another supplement. It's especially formulated to support a healthy and balanced endocrine system for women. Now, do men take Endogize? Yes. So it, they're not just specific for male or female. Um, a lot of times the bottle does say male or female, but I know uh, men that have taken Endogize and it really helps them a lot. So let me talk to you a little bit about Progescence Plus. Progescence Plus. This was the game changer for me, okay? It features some of our most loved essential oils, including sacred frankincense and peppermint oil, to create a serum that's perfectly pampers you, specially formulated for women, and ideal for women over 30. Young Living's Progescence Plus is a great addition to your day or night routine. Wild yam extract and vitamin E support your skin, and looking its best, while frankincense suits the look of fine lines and keeps your skin looking as young as you feel, and add a few drops to your moisturizer and massage directly onto your skin. With coconut oil and essential oils such as bergamot, Progestance Plus uses premium ingredients to moisturize and soothe healthy skin. Plus, you'll love the convenient, beautiful package of this beautiful serum and stash it in your travel bag or display it on your vanity with other beauty must-haves. So why does this Progestance Plus contain a warning label on the ingredient that says it causes cancer? Dun, dun, dun. Do you know how many times I've been asked that since I've been a member of Young Living? So here is Young Living's response. We appreciate your concern regarding California's Proposition 65 warnings which are legally required on this product. Proposition 65 requires that all products sold in California that carry any ingredient deemed to the California legislature due to be hazardous to your health must carry a warning label on our label. Must carry a warning on our label. In the case of this product, California requires the warning on all progesterone containing products. However, California law does not distinguish between synthetic progesterone or, which is the cause of California's concern, or the natural progesterone that's derived from the yams. It's widely used in the health industry. Both are generally referred to as progesterone, which is the ingredient name on California's list. If you would like further information on this topic, we recommend that you contact your personal health care provider. So, can any women of any age use this product? Progestins Plus can be used by any women of all ages, but it's ideal for women over 30. Dosage during the duration of this use with this product can be very based on visual, individual needs. We recommend consulting with your, hair, with your healthcare provider. Now, Progestins Plus. Um, let me tell you how it's helped me and my body but also um, something that um, was just game changing for me. So 
for me, I had um, irregular periods. I had heavy, and then I would have light. Um, I never had a true, really red um, period. And so I started using this, and it helped me to balance my cycle. I now, on my calendar, I circle the day I start. I can count 28 days, and it's like clockwork, okay? So that is a game changer for me and how much it helped. Now, what else does it help with? So it, um, Dr. Um, Purser, who created it, he said a lot of women will notice that when they take it, that their breasts feel a little bit more plump, and it actually helps your breast health. So it's going to help that. Um, am I saying that you're going to go from an A to a D cup? Probably not, but it just helps that fullness, okay? And so don't be like, Aah. okay? And so um, anyway, but it's a great, um, it's a great addition to your um, daily regimen, putting it on your wrist, putting it on your neck, um, first thing in the morning, first thing at night. It helps you to sleep too because progesterone actually helps you to sleep better. All right. Now, I do have one right here. One of my uh, things, the Master Formula. Master Formula is a full spectrum, multi nutrient complex providing premium vitamins and minerals and food based nutri nutriment to support general health and well being by utilizing synergistic suspension of isolation process. SSI technology. Ingredients are derived in three distinct delivery forms. Collectively, these ingredients provide premium synergistic complex to support the body. So these capsules are so helpful because you don't have to worry about, oh, I need to take my vitamin B. I need to take my vitamin C, my vitamin A, my vitamin D, my vitamin E, my fish oil, all right here. Okay. This is great. Now, this is so so full of great nutrients. It comes in a 30 pack. I know people that have, take it every other day because it's so full of such great nutrients. So if you're not used to taking vitamins, you took this every day, that would be helpful just to start out. So let me touch on a few other things. So I talked about um, all the great things that your endocrine system needs, the calcium, the magnesium, all that. Amino Wise. Amino Wise is a drink that we've been drinking here at our house for um, ever since it came out. And it's great, even my little one. He likes to drink it too. And, um, and I just do a quarter of a little scoop for him. Um, I do about a half a scoop for myself. I mean, I don't do a lot. We, it takes us a while to go through the jar. Um, but at the same time, um, it's got a lot of calcium and magnesium and stuff. And right now I have three growing boys. So their endocrine system really needs to be top level. Um, in your Now What book, some of the things that it's going to, going to suggest are Femigen. Femigen is a product that a lot of ladies that are going through menopause, it's a great product. Is it for ladies that are in menopause? Not necessarily, because I've taken it myself, and I have not gone through menopause yet. Um, PD8020. PD8020 was actually made and created to help with the nervous system and the nerves. But what did we talk about and how did it help? How is your nervous system all going in through with your endocrine system? That's why PD8020 um, helps. Super B, you know, um, she said, you know, get a vitamin B shot, that helps. Super B, you don't need a vitamin B shot. You have everything you need in that, that complex Super B um, it is phenomenal for energy, and it's a little bitty orange tablet. It's very helpful. Cortistop is also another one. Cortistop helps the cortisol le level. So if you're like I am, and you have a stress belly, because that's where your stress goes, is to your belly, and it's belly fat, that's where your cortisol is not working right. So whenever you get that um, cortistop, it starts helping the cortisol to release regularly like it should. Dragon Time Bath Shell, Bath Gel, and it says Shower Gel, I'll put those together. So Dragon Time Bath and Shower Gel, plus Dragon Time um, 
massage oil. Let me tell you about that. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit. Last year, I um, had a miscarriage, and when I had that miscarriage, um, of course, it was devastating to us, but at the same time, my body, I felt my body reacting differently, and so this was Dragon Time massage oil, and so, and see, it's marked circulation now. Uh, because I put so much stuff in here that are for females. I put a half a bottle of Dragon Time. I put Heliochrism. I put Leadum. I put, um, I mean, this, this little bottle right here is probably worth a couple hundred dollars. And um, I put a ton of this in it. Um, and I was using this daily to help. And I, it's probably, it's about half full now. Uh, but, but to help my body react. I felt as if when I miscarried, the rest of my body was um, reacting differently and it was holding on to stuff. And then I started having more health problems. So I got that and I started putting it on my body and putting it towards my heart. Now there's dry brushing. That's kind of a popular thing and you brush towards your heart. Um, you have to know the proper way to do it. But I felt as if I was putting this stuff on and then I would put it on my heart, and then I was helping my heart. Um, now, recently, most recently, I have um, been using it more when I have my cycle. So when I have my cycle and I um, start my, my period, I go ahead and I start putting it on my whole body. And that has actually helped, um, you know, the moodiness and the achiness and stuff that goes along with it. And so it's been great. Now, if I had to tell you what all was in there, I really couldn't tell you because literally like I was, I had, it took me three days to pass the baby and I was literally like just kept pouring stuff in there. So I don't even know what's in there, but by golly, I'm using it all the time. So a few other things, um, Clary Sage, Clary Sage is great. Um, Another book that I want to tell you about is Gentle Babies by Deborah Rayburn. It talks about pregnancy and childbirth and then afterbirth. And she talks about it in there. And Clary Sage is one that's actually very helpful um, for um, childbirth. So uh, did I use it whenever I delivered? Absolutely, I did. I used it. And it helped really fast. Um, my, I had my baby in um, 45 minutes after checking into the hospital. So, um, very, very helpful. Um, Clary Sage is also in this. So that's helping me whenever I was miscarrying. And, um, and even now when I have my cycle, I want my uterus to, I want all of that to come out. I want it to come out. So I was working and I was massaging um, my stomach and my uterus, you know, after you have a baby, they go in and massage your uterus. Isn't that fun? And they go in and they do that. Well, that's what I was doing. I was massaging my uterus to help it go down and everything to get out of my body the proper way. All right. So, um, so a few things that, um, that I want to suggest to you too are um, just taking time for yourself and, and allowing yourself to deal with some emotions and to deal with a few things. Um, let me share real quick with you about the feelings collection. Where's it at? And reconnect. I want to, I'm going to cover reconnect too, but the feelings collection. So when I shared with you about my infertility and all that, um, uh, what had happened to me um, was as a teenager, um, I didn't make a lot of great decisions. And, um, and so I um, was in a situation um, where I shouldn't have been and I was um, abused and in a way that um, females should not be. So um, I carried that and the guilt and the shame and everything with it and along with it um, to my adult life. Um, when it, it did cause um, serious ovarian cysts, um, serious reproductive issues, infertility, and a number of different problems and stuff. So whenever I had gotten a scan and a friend of mine told me, she said, you should use the forgiveness oil. That's really gonna help. And so let me tell you, I'm all about some names. I'm like, I'm sorry, my forgiveness comes from Jesus Christ. It doesn't come from 
a bottle of oil. And so then she said, oh, but honey, the oils that are in forgiveness, they actually are a lot of sesquiterpenes. They go in the cells, they cleanse the cells, and they help you get rid of that damaged cell and that memory of that trauma. I said, really? Oh, I don't know about that. I started using it, and that's when I was married for 15 years, and that's when my husband, after I started using it, he didn't even know I was using the feelings kit and what was going on. And he said, hmm, what are you doing differently? He said it was almost like he was married to a different person. Um, the way I reacted to things, um, our intimacy, things like that, because it completely cleansed my body of that trauma. I don't have flashbacks now. I don't have scary things. You can touch me. You see, you can touch the back of my head because it just paralyzed me. I didn't like it. And so, um, so that was an amazing thing. That, that's, that's just, a, the feelings kit is amazing for that circumstance. Um, reconnect. So the Reconnect kit came out. They said, oh, it's great for children that, you know, are kind of more hyper and kind of, you know, need to reconnect and, and, and you know, and get back together and stuff. And um, so I got it. Um, I don't really have the hyper kids, but I always like to try stuff, you know. And um, I started using it. And one of my children, we sat down at the dinner table. We play, like to play the high and low game. And... Um, so, you know, what is your high moment of the day? What is your low moment of the day? And um, we go around the table and we share different moments and stuff. And so one of them said, after I'd been using this for like two weeks, one of my kids said, well, my high of the day is mama didn't yell at us. And then I was like, and my love moment was just now. But I was like, oh my gosh, I had gotten to where my endocrine system, and this is around the same time that this, that this whole, everything was like shifting and changing. Plus we were building a house and moving. I mean, can we do anything else, right? And so my whole endocrine system was crazy. And so I was irritable. And when you're irritable, you snap at people. And I don't like to be a yeller. I, I, I don't want to, be, I have a very loud voice, but I don't want to be a yeller to my kids. So, um, I realized that this changed me as a mom to reconnect more with my children, but at the same time, it helped me to, um, be a better mom and because it helped to balance my whole body and endocrine system and feelings. So those are my two stories from my heart. Um, and if you want to know more information about that. I get a ton of messages about the feelings kit all the time because I share my story. And, um, but I feel like that God has blessed me with um, a miraculous healing in my body that I can't keep that to myself. And so um, if you want to know more about that, you can always message me or contact me. And so thank you for joining me tonight for this healthy hangout all about the endocrine system. And I hope you get your hormones in check and you become the woman that God created you.